Hi lovely people and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Ashley and I'm a full-time reseller on places like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and Etsy. And today I have a pretty big bins haul for you guys. Um, the bins, also known as the Goodwill Outlet, sells everything by the pound. So my cost of goods for each item for this trip was 84 cents approximately. Um, so yeah, you can get things like really cheap there. Um, but let's get right into it because there's a lot to go through. <laughs> okay, first item is this Banana Republic. Um, and I picked this up because it's 100% merino wool and I thought this was a really pretty color for spring. Um, so we'll see how that does. I don't normally pick up Banana Republic unless it's a really nice like material um, or just like a really unique piece. Uh, but it's a size medium if I didn't say that. Next is this Land's End Cashmere Sweater. And I pretty much pick up any brand of cashmere that I can find because cashmere sells really well for me. And it's just this gray men's v-neck sweater it's a size medium it has some small light stains on the sleeve but i just took pictures of them and noted that another cashmere sweater i found and this was apartment nine which i didn't even know this brand made like cashmere items um but it's actually very cute little like pastel pink and gray sweater and it's a size large next i found this athleta jacket um, and it's actually an older Athleta tag, but at 84 cents, like, I'm not gonna pass on an Athleta jacket because it's actually very cute. It has this, like, asymmetrical neckline and a back, like, mesh panel. And it's a full zip front closure jacket. Next is this L.L. Bean brand, and I don't normally pick up L.L. Bean, but I decided I wanted to try it, and the bins is a really great place. <laughs> and the bins is a really great place to pick up new brands that you want to give a try because it's such a low cost of good. Um, and this is a cashmere and cotton blend, and it's a size medium. Next is this Carhartt flannel that has like a fleece lining. Um, so I'm gonna list it as like a shacket. Uh, and it's a size medium, uh, and yeah, it's women's too. Next is this soft surrounding sweater, and I used to pick up soft surroundings all the time, and it did like really well. It always sold pretty quickly and for like twenty to twenty five dollars, uh, but it hasn't been moving that much lately. So I'm kind of just picking up more interesting pieces to see if those will still do all right, and if they aren't, I'm just gonna have to stop picking it up. It's a size medium. Next is this pair of Talbot's pants, and they are plus size, they're size 16 W, uh, and they are a wool blend plaid pant, and they're called the Hampshire Angle. Next is this Banana Republic item, and once again, I don't normally pick up Banana Republic, but this was new with tag. So I thought I can consign it to, um, and it's just this little cream color sweater vest. Then I found this Torrid top. Torrid has actually been doing like really well for me lately, um, but it's pink and white striped and it's called the Harper top and it's a size one, so one X. This is Vineyard Vines brand and it's a men's like, is this a polo? I don't know. I don't know what, what qualifies as a polo. I don't know men's fashion terms that well, uh, but it's a size medium, 100% cotton, and just has the little whale logo on the front. Then this is Kalia by Carrie Underwood, which is another brand I haven't been picking up as much lately. I feel like it's slowed down, but this was a really nice like hooded sweater with metallic thread. And then I found this REI uh, co-op and it's a down, 650 down, like, pu lightweight puffer jacket. And it's a women's extra small. Okay, next is this. This is Hannah Anderson. But, like, someone help. I can't figure out what this is. Literally, like, there's these two straps. There's two, like, tie straps here. So, I was like, is it a skirt? Is it a wrap skirt? And there's a button here. But, like... Okay, there's like a button 
thing here to make it like a little bit smaller, but I really can't figure out what this is. Someone tell me, has anyone seen this before? But it's a size 14 and clearly I have no idea what it is. So I'm not going to tell you anything else. And I've started to pick up some swimwear. This is a one piece that has these like strappy neon effects, effects, strappy neon straps. I don't know. Um, and it's Victoria's Secret and it's a size large. And then next, I found this new tag Kupchi brand, a little one piece that has a little ruffle trim here. I like to pick up swimwear at the bins and I, I pick up bras at the bins too. Um, like third love bras do really well still for me. Uh, and it's also like a super low cost of goods. So, you know, it, even if it's only gonna sell for like 15, that's still really good when it doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> next, this is Bowden brand. And it's this navy blue jumpsuit with a little belt. And I think this is one of the newer Bowden tags. Ugh, is this old focus? Newer? I don't know. Uh, and it's a size 14 tall. Okay, I have no idea if this is gonna sell, but like I looked at it and was like, Depop. Like I was like, I just feel like this is something that belongs on Depop. Um, it's from Firefly, which I don't know if other, everybody like around the country knows about this. Um, I know about it because it's in Delaware. Uh, so it's like a big music festival that was really popular with, with people that I went to school with. Um, but it's just a cropped little sweatshirt. Next, I found this J. Crew item, and I pick up J. Crew if it's the new label, which is that like cursive one. Um, and then this was new with tags, so like I was like, I'll definitely pick that up. But normally it would be like if it's a more substantial piece, like if it's a dress or a like cashmere wool, like merino wool sweater. Uh, but it's this very cute little printed ruffle dress. It's a size eight tall. Yes, tall. Next, I picked up this Brandy Melville bland, bland, brand, uh, and it's a wrap dress. Sorry, it's hard to show. Wrap dresses are so hard to like make look good in photos and stuff. Um, but it's one size since it's Brandy Melville. And then next, this is cut from the cloth. And I've been seeing cut from the cloth tops like this everywhere. Like all over in the thrift stores. So I don't know if this is gonna do well, but I picked it up because it was super light and I was curious because if it does do well, I'll start picking them up more. But it's an XXL and it's a like chiffon floral print little button up top. Next is a North Face brand t-shirt. And normally I wouldn't pick up just a basic t-shirt like this, but the back has this cute little mountain design. So I thought that was so cute. And it's a women's size medium. Next, I have another torrid item. And this is like a two layer um, floral chiffon tank top. It's a size two, so two X. And here I have another Woolrich item. I picked this up because it was 100% lamb's wool and it's this cute fair aisle pattern. So this is another experiment piece that I wanna see how it does. It's a women's large. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on Woolrich. Like, do you sell it, do you not? Sorry, I'm moving my arms a bunch because I really like these sleeves. Here's another torrid item, and I almost like didn't pick this up because I was like, it's so basic. It's just a cardigan in size 1X, but it already has like four likes and I just listed it. So, guess it was a good choice. <laughs> okay, this is a universal thread dress, and I'm probably just, I mainly picked this up to consign because um, it's plus size. It's a 2XL. And it's just this very cute maxi dress with a little like ruffle trim. Okay, and then I grabbed this athleta item, as, which is also an older tag, um, and it's a skirt. And I also picked this up probably to consign. Maybe I'll try to sell it first, but if that doesn't work, I don't really like selling that much older athleta, but the style is kind of in right now, I feel like. But um, if not, my Play-Dohs tends to take like pretty much anything athleta. So size two. This is another brand that I wanted to try because I've been seeing it like a lot of places and it's like Lys, it's L-Y-S-S-E. I don't know how you say that. It's a size medium uh, and it's just like navy blue with this velvet stripe. Um, 
I saw it at one of my local consignment stores, so I was like, hmm, okay, I'll check this brand out. Next is, this is a pair, it was a pair of Levi's jeans, and it was the Perfectly Slimming Bootcut 512, um, but someone cut them into shorts, but I thought they looked like really cute little shorts, uh, and they are a size 8 short. Next, I found another men's item. I really want to try to build up my men's closet more, but it's hard. It's difficult finding men's stuff out there. Um, but it's urban and it's just a striped little tee and it's a size medium. Next, this might be the consign or I might keep it. It's American Eagle and it's the newer American Eagle label there. Uh, it's from, it's from 2020. So it's a fairly new piece and it's like this halter neck, little ruffled floral dress. Next is this Ecote, which is Urban Outfitters, and it's like a yellow long sleeve flowy little dress. It's a size four. And then this dress might also be for me. I'm not sure yet. It's Gap, which is like, I probably wouldn't normally pick up like Gap, um, but I thought it was cute. So I was like, I'm going to try it on. It's a wrap dress and it's also 100% linen. So that still also might be able to resell or consign if I don't want to keep it. Next is this A New Day, which I think is like Target, but it's brand new with tags and it's this very cute chunky cable knit sweater. Okay, and now I have, I hit a little pocket of Harley Davidson shirts. So I grabbed this one with just the logo on the front. It's an extra small, definitely could fit a small as well. This one is a small and it's actually a silk t-shirt and it has this very, it's like very Hawaiian <laughs> Harley Davidson with the little, is that hibiscus? I think so. Flower. And then this one, this one's also like an extra small, small, um, and it just has the logo. I cut it actually. I just like. I wanted to make it like a cropped tank. Um, next, I found this Madewell sweater and it's just like color block with two little pockets. It's a size extra small. Here's a vintage item and it's Cricket Lane is the brand. And it's just this really cute little color blocked little sweater. It's, oh, I don't know what the size is. It, oh, 42 slash 22, I don't know. It's like, probably like a large or extra large. It's very oversized. I grabbed this Aeropostale dress because it was new with tags. It's a size small um, and it's just tie-dye and like has this ties at the end. Uh, I'm probably gonna consign that. Here's another vintage item. It's not as old. I kind of just picked it up like on style. It's just like this little um, herringbone pattern skirt that has pleats. It's a size 9 slash 10. This was a really good find. I was really excited about this. Uh, it's Lafayette 148, size 14. And it is a full on uh, like peacoat coat. And it is, it's wool and angora. So it's like really good quality. Um, but it's like mid length brown coat and it zips up in the front. Next, I found this Theory brand, like, sweater vest, and it kind of, like, has, it's like a stretchy knit. It's a size large, but, like, it's real stretchy, <laughs> you can see. Um, and then this was kind of just, I don't know, I thought it was fun. It's Bradley, Bradley Bayou, I've never really heard of that, but it's, like, a snakeskin pattern, and it's cream, and it's, like, mid-length, and it's actually a leather. It's, like, genuine leather. It's a size small. And then the last item I have here are these two scarves. Uh, they aren't really branded. They just say, ooh, they just say made in Scotland on them. Uh, but it also says that they are 100% cashmere and they're these cute little plaid prints. So. so that's it for my latest bin haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, please remember to like and subscribe and check me out on social media. Bye!